and I'm Dr. Ryan Evenhouse, and today we're going to talk about shoulder pain. Uh, we frequently see this in our office, and one of the main conditions that causes shoulder pain is impingement syndrome. Shoulder impingement syndrome symptoms can range from the inability to lay on one shoulder for a period of time without progressive pain, the inability to raise your arm up to pick something up off of a shelf, put your hand in your coat, or to bring your hands behind your back. The mechanism behind a shoulder impingement is when one raises the arm up because of tightness in the back of the shoulder and inability to hold the shoulder blade tight on the chest wall, the humeral head comes up and pinches the muscle between the humeral head and what's called the acromion process. Alright, so one of the stretches that you can do at home is called the sleeper stretch and it really stretches the back of the shoulder here. So you lay on your side just like this. You bring a pillow or something to support your head here. You'll make sure your hips are stacked and your shoulders are stacked uh, perpendicular to the table. And then your arm goes straight out 90 degrees away from the body. And then the elbow bends at 90 degrees as well. And then you're going to put a little pressure on the back of the forearm. And you're going to bring this shoulder down into what's called internal rotation. You'll feel a nice stretch in the shoulder and you also kind of feel it coming down into the tricep a little bit in there. So you just want to touch it and then come out of it. An additional stretch that can be performed is one for the pec minor. The pec minor will pull the humeral head forward when it's too tight, causing more of an impingement syndrome. So bring your hands to the shoulder height, find a corner, put your hands at shoulder height, bring that chest in and pull your elbows up. This is a Stretch that's held for a longer period of time, 15 to 20 seconds. You should start to feel a nice pull through here, bringing and forcing those elbows up to really enhance that stretch. Shoulder impingement, like so many conditions, can be tre easily treated if treated early. If these exercises do not improve your pain in a short period of time, please follow up with your healthcare provider. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, checking our video out. If you liked it, please like and share. And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be more than happy to answer them. For complete rehabilitation, I'm Dr. Mick Pinkney. I'm Dr. Ryan Evenhouse.